Hi guys, it's Melissa and I'm back today to do another video and today I'm going to be doing a review of my new handbag which is right behind me and it's the YSL Mini Cabas Chic Bag and I'm pretty much just going to tell you what I feel about it, a little review and then a small um, what's in my bag even though there's not that much in it because I haven't had it for very long. So let's get right into the review. So this is the one that I chose. It's the black um, YSL bag with the gold hardware. And the reason I say YSL because I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know that you Saint Laurent changed their branding to Saint Laurent. They dropped the eaves. Um, and this was the last bag in the store that was still YSL rather than just Saint Laurent. So I was like, hmm, I think I want to get that one because it's more classy and um, it shows, you know, the history of the brand. So I definitely wanted to get that. And the only difference with that bag and the new one, I think, was that it says Yves Saint Laurent on all the hardware. And I'm not sure if I remember this um, detailing here, this like Y in the actual leather if that's only from the old ones. I'm not sure. Don't take my word on that one, but it might be. But anyways, um, let's get into the dimensions of the bag. The dimensions of the bag are 11 and 3 quarter inch wide, 8 and a half tall, and 6 dimension, 6 inches wide, sorry. Um, and the handle drop I think is 3 and a half or 3 and 3 quarters here. And the long strap drop is, I have it written down, 16 and a half to 17 and 3 quarter inches. And I really love this strap because I really wanted a bag that not only could go on the crook of my arm and I can hold it with my hand, but one I can put over my shoulder so it's out of the way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put down the bag and talk about it a little bit more, I guess. I bought this bag at the end of the summer, like I said, I hauled it in my last like New York City haul and it was a gift to myself and I really wanted, you know, something that was sophisticated and I really feel like it does. I've gotten a ton of compliments on this bag, everyone thinks it looks very chic, like its name, and um, just some random details. It's made of calfskin leather and it's got like a... There was two finishes, and I picked the one that was a little bit more um, pebbly. And also, sorry, the Y and like the gold hardware is a little bit, it's got a little bit of like a, not tarnished, more like a weird look, which I like. It's still really shiny, but if you look closely, it's almost um, a little rustic, which I like because it looked vintage. And then it also has the five feet on the bottom so that's nice when you put it down. So let's get into the bag and we're going to get into the what's in my bag portion. To open the bag you lift up the flap, the little magnetic Y, and you'll have two zippers like that. And you just pull them apart, obviously. So you can pull them open like this and they open all the way to the toggles on the side which you can undo and take them out but I didn't feel the need to, so I left them like that. And this is the interior of the bag. Now, this one specifically only has a zipper pocket in the back, but I know with the new Saint Laurent bags, they don't have that pocket, but they have like the cell phone and like another random pocket in the front, which this bag doesn't have. Um, and the tag, the logo in the back says Yves Saint Laurent, the classic logo, instead of Saint Laurent. So I'll now show you what's inside my bag. So the first thing I have is obviously my cell phone, and this is iPhone 5. And I have this little silver case my mom gave me on it when I got it because I didn't have a case yet. And I actually put the, um, the Saint Laurent sticker from the bag, like the paper bag that it came in on the back, but it's all like roughed up so you can't really see it anymore. Everyone always asks me, what's that black square on the back of your phone? And I'm like, oh, it's a sticker. Looks really stupid though. 
Then I have my Marc Jacobs wallet, my Marc by Marc Jacobs wallet. Um, if you saw my last What's in My Bag video, I'll link it down below. That was my Marc Jacobs Yukita bag. Um, this matches that, so I still use this wallet. Then I have a pocket bag by Bath & Body Works, and this is lemon pomegranate. Then I just have my car keys. A couple of pens, which probably shouldn't be in here because I don't want to keep it dirty. My little Mark by Mark Jacobs mirror um, from the specialty store, and I love carrying this around. I have a little Lush container that has some moisturizer in it. An EOS lip balm in the raspberry pomegranate flavor. It's my favorite. Then some random junk at the bottom, which I probably should clean because I don't really keep a lot of stuff in this bag because I'm trying to keep it nice and clean. I don't want to get it dirty because it's so valuable to me, and I want to keep it in the best you know, shape possible. So I just have a random Target receipt from when I return something, a Metro card, a Stop and Shop card, a Macy's gift card I still haven't used, um, a business card from someone at the Brooklyn Flea Market who I really liked their jewelry. Um, their name, I'm totally gonna murder this and I can't really, oh wait, the name of the company is AVP Designs. And I really liked her jewelry. If you've ever heard of her, check it out. Check her out on Instagram too, because she has really cool stuff. Then in the back pocket, I only have a few things. I have two hair clips and a NARS Pure Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Volga, which is the dark purple that I absolutely love. I have a pack of five gum, and this is the flavor React 2, which is my favorite. And then there's only a few other things left in that pocket. Oh, and I'm dropping that. I have a business card from like a jewelry place in the city. I don't know. Oops. I have an earring that I bought. It's actually a Trachis earring. Um, it's a little gold stud, but it's in this little plastic bag. <laughs> then the stuff that comes in the bag, you have the little YSL card, and on the back it says you Saint Laurent, and you open it up. Oh no, you open it this way, and it pretty much has like your care directions and it like the certificate of authentication. Whoa, certificate of authentic, certificate of authenticity. There we go. Um, and a little booklet on how to care for your bag. So I keep that back there because I just think I don't know. It's just been there. And then they give you like a little sample of the leather. I don't know if that's so. If you ever need to get it replaced, they can like cool. It's like a swatch. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll, like, not do anything with it. <laughs> That's everything in my bag. So, I hope you guys liked this review. I hope I told you guys enough information that you wanted to hear. I know this video is very requested. Um, but overall, I love this bag. You know, it's been very functional for me. I love the two handles. I love the drop, you know, the long strap. And I love taking it around, um, trying not to go too hard on her because I don't want her to get damaged or dirty. And I want her to last as long as possible and save her for special occasions. But I love her very much and I hope you guys would think about considering getting this bag because it's awesome. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to let me know down below and I will for sure get back to you um, if you have any logistics or anything you want to know about the bag. Um, I'm not a huge, like... Saint Laurent guru, um, so I don't know everything, but if you want to know anything about the functionality of the bag or how I feel about it, um, just let me know and I will get back to you. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, and I will see you um, next time. Alright, bye guys.